Okay, in this video, what I hope to do is show how to um, make a wireframe or a structure using the new program by uh, res by Coffee Cup Responsive Level Maker Pro, and also um, how to edit it in the uh, HTML editor by Coffee Cup. But you can use any program you want for the editing. Anyway, I'm going to try and do this in two parts because it's, it's quite detailed. In this program, it does take a bit getting used to. Um, but anyway, this is what happens when you, you um, open up this uh, responsive flower maker. And um, by default, it's 1017 pixels. And there's many ways we can actually go about making a wireframe for a website. And the whole idea of this is that it, uh, if we can see at the top there, that is uh, an icon of a, a computer. And if we go along on this slider at the top, this is where it starts to change to a, a tablet. If we go a bit further along, it starts to go into a smartphone or a mobile phone um, that uses this type of thing. Anyway, this is uh, a tool for web designers and hobbyists, and uh, by default, it's, it's columns the layout. Also, another thing to know is the um, the layout is with columns and rows and also the next button along is the elements which is basically html elements a uh, few different names things like text link which i would have called hyperlinks but uh, and the properties which is the engine room of the whole thing with uh, pattern and margin and that type of thing and float um, even though uh, it's probably uh, easy for both non-coders and coders. With non-coders, you just need to know how to do pattern and margin, really. Um, but anyway, without further ado, I'm going to do this uh, with using rows rather than columns. And the idea of that is I want to uh, use 100% width rather than uh, the default there. So anyway, here we have maximum width by default, and I'm going to put that tick as none. And I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to have uh, color of purplish so if we just preview on that my preview browser is google chrome and there it is and just knock facebook down and um, so that's what i'm going to call my heading so if we just put the heading in there you also coffee cup have put a um a button for logo i'm going to use a logo type of image 3 by 2 aspect ratio the next uh, one down is also by column so I'm going to delete them and I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put four columns uh, rows so the next uh, go back to your layout you add another row and add another row and add another row so uh, the next row is again that will be uh, 1200 maximum width or it should be i'm going to just put row in there so say none again and the auto is 100 percent then background i have this slightly darker and this is going to be my navigation bar the next one is also going to be another row and again 1200 pixels by default and I'm also going to have that as a slightly a purplish, slightly different tint, but nevertheless. And the bottom one is my footer. So again, uh, where it says column, I was going to put that row and the 1200 pixels again, 100%. And I'm going to put this background color. This is all in the properties where you change things, the engine room. Um, as an off grey type of thing. So uh, this is where we try and build this uh, this program up. So we've done our first one, which is what I call the header on the where the logo, if, if that's what you need to do. And the next one is going to be a navigation. So we'll go into elements here and we'll click text link. And this is a drag and drop program, the text link. And by default, this is a 14 pixels. So I need that a bit more than that. So it's going to be 18 pixels and uh, the blue's not too bad maybe it's a little bit that's better to see 
OK, and we're going to put in a duplicate because this program has a nice tool of duplicate. And, and this is going to be, that's gone down as vertical. I don't want that as vertical, so we're going to put that float left. And again, I'm going to put that duplicate. And I'm going to put four text links. One's going to be an about, uh, about page, a home page, contact and services. So on there, we're going to get the pattern. I want a pattern, so we we'll put that at, say, 20. The first one is, as normal, a home page. So we just pop that in there. And that's always index.html. <clears throat> and the next one is going to be an about. So this on a this is only a demonstration website, but if this was in up on the fly, it would be uh, about what your you you are, what you do, if you're a business or whatever. The next one I'm going to put is uh, services. So this is if you're a, one of them's gone somewhere. Oops services so this will tell the people that come to your website what you're going to do and uh, so we'll put that as serve.html the next one is going to be a contact so if you put a contact form perhaps on your website or your emails and address and all that type of stuff and this is going to be a contact.html the next uh, row is going to be um, and maybe we could go into elements um, well maybe not maybe divide divide that column so we have it's always the 12 uh, span um, all the things on here is usually 12 spans so that's six spans each so that's uh, so what we're going to do on the left is we're going to put a paragraph in there so we'll put a paragraph in there and by default that's 59 words and we're going to put another paragraph in there as well oops not there so we just take that out and we just drag that into there we go so um, it's not really a bad color that so we can really see that um you can even put another one in if you want but on the other side on the right hand side we're going to put a block quote and also perhaps um, an image and we can put that in there and so our um, website is now coming along quite well and uh, coffee cup have put in a, a nice what i think is a nice little uh, touch is on the footer you'd put probably put well you don't need to put there but this is where i will put the social media because we live in such a, a social thing now so if you if you can see that there as um, you have your Facebook, your Twitter, I think that's LinkedIn and Google Plus. So this basically is now what our website is. So if we just do a de um, look on that and see what it's like, um, of course this would be um, uh, the height would be more and things like that. But this is just an illustrative purposes only. And so that I'm, I'm quite happy with that, you know. And uh, so what we're going to do now is um, we're going to um, export that. We're going to save, and I'm going to save this as uh, I mean it's a rock band. So this in th uh, this by demonstration is going to be a, a rock band uh, type of thing. So we're going to go into documents. Uh, hang on, I'll save. Uh, save it yeah um, put the rock band the scorpions and we'll export that so this usually uh, would give our um, select folder and we can open that and when we go into the editor if we there's the scorpions and if we just see that there test with default browser and there's that's what uh, what you see so in the next video uh, uh, 
part two of this uh, this particular video I'm gonna I'm gonna put some meat on the bones type of thing so I hope you've learned something um, from this little video so thank you for watching